we can come back to our texture mask paint now and I'm going to clear it out. Uh, so I'll clear it and I'll put uh, symmetry on across Z X so it'll be happening on both sides of the pig at the same time. And now we should be able to go and paint our masks. Now I did that in the last lesson so let's do something a little different this time. I'm going to go back to my texture mask paint. I need to remember to turn on my show geometry and this is because I just want to show off uh, the, the paint strokes first. By default the stamp brush here is set up to use the mandrel. So if I zoom in here we are painting a mandrel uh, just on top. But I found that you can go and use uh, any ZBrush alphas that you might have uh, kind of kicking around on your machine. So in my case uh, I have some alphas just here. I'll just show them to you. They're mostly for uh, painting rock-like surfaces. Um, so I'm going to use one of these ones just to get started. Now these are stamp type brushes. So you can see that you, you're you not really going to uh, paint with them. You're just going to stamp them on. And in my case what I think I'll do is I'll make it nice and big. And I'm just going to stamp some onto the side here. And maybe I'll stamp some just onto his forehead. So we get nice big easy marks that are, are clear to see. Let's go and check how that looks like in our mask. So I can come down here and need to zoom out again. And you can see that yes, the lines are starting to come through in the UV shells here. You can see I'm getting some noise outside of the masks. So if we want to, we can go back to our remap that we put down earlier. And we can just tighten it up a little bit. And that should push that back so we're only getting noise where the mask is now now if you're getting the mask everywhere if it's spread out everywhere i found that's what was happening when i was painting the mask um if i cleared this to zero and then i was painting the mask that uh, was being filled out everywhere so that's why i'm clearing it to 0 0.1 so i'm getting uh the lines just within the uv shells let's go over and check it in cops now and see what we're getting over there so we'll open up our composite and yeah, it looks like it's coming through here as well. Yes, so we're getting our lines coming through there as well. Let's go and check it over on our grip material. And the lines are starting to come through here. Now we need to do a little bit of look dev. Uh, so let's try and drive up the metallic a little bit. And I'm gonna flip the normal here. And I'll just flip it out here, uh, rather than flipping it in cups. And you can see it's starting to dig in now a little bit. Uh, so this is starting to work now. I mean, it still needs to be refined, but the basic principle is there. We have two different paths we could go. We could try and use the brushes themselves as an alpha, and we can scale them up and down and draw out these veiny shapes. Um, but I'm going to use them more like a mask, and I'm going to mask in this procedural noise that I'm getting from my height field. And the issue I have really at the moment is that the particular alpha that I've chosen is very thin, so it's a little bit difficult to see what's going on with our noise. So I'm going to go back to my texture mask paint here. I'm going to choose a different alpha. So I'll clear that paint. I'm going to use my much chunkier brush now, and I'm going to just start painting in. And I'm just going to concentrate on this area up around the neck. And we'll just put in various different marks in here. So I'm looking to try and end up with a mask here that has more details coming through. Let's go to our noise here and I'm going to lower the element size down. And maybe the easier way to see this is the following. Let's get rid of our mask altogether and that means we'll get noise everywhere. So now we're getting noise everywhere and let's close this down. Let's go and look at it over here to see what it looks like in terms of scale. So now I'm getting the height field noise coming through all over the model. And I'm going to change it over to a Warley F2. And I'm going to make my amplitude bigger. So I need to go back down to my comp net because I want the changes to feedback straight away. Uh, I was finding this was taking a little longer to cook. So I, if I change it from mesh over to volume slice, uh, I'm just going to move the actual volume slice here. Uh, we'll, I'm just going to move it 1.5 units over to the left here so you can see it as almost uh, kind of a glimpse into the 2D space. Uh, I found that it work, that it updates quite a bit faster if I leave it at volume slice. I'll just make sure that my export is on my DSP here over in COPS. Jump back over to my noise and I'm going to just play around with my bias a little bit to see if I can get it to come through a little bit sharper. Yeah, it's starting to come through a little bit more now. 
and instead of stretching it I'll just put it back to one so we get a more yeah so I'm getting a fairly distinct uh, rock like uh, pattern here uh, so that should make it very easy to see the pattern coming through uh, let's go and plug back in our mask now uh, so I'd like to see more of the uh, rock shapes coming through so I'm gonna go back to my texture mask paint here and uh, I'm just gonna paint in a bit more through these areas and just try to get more white going on in there now again over here these are cooking so if I close those down this will go a little faster and I'll put my foreground value here up to two just so we get a range so this will start to cut into the surface of the pig a little bit more in these areas and should show those rock like shapes through a little bit more in the mask so let's go and take a look over here yeah so now we're starting to get the rock like shapes coming through a little bit more uh, so i'd like the color for those areas to be a bit more distinct uh, so let's go to our cop here our color one i'm going to change this over to mask and i'm going to get rid of the equalize altogether and let's do a levels and then i'm going to do a composite as well uh, with my levels i'm just gonna uh, pump up the black so just pump up the black a little bit we can pull down the gamma uh, what i'd like to have is this over white what i'm going to get at the moment is it will color those rocky areas more brown which i like but it is going to color the rest of the big black so we need to put this color over white so let's put down another uh, color node here and I'm going to change it over to white and I will plug it into A over B uh, yeah, now we have it over white again put my export flag on the bottom okay so now this color here is only affecting uh, this area over here based on this mask and we can tighten that up or not using this levels so for now we leave them at a kind of a bright pink so that they're easy to see uh, so i just tweak the roughness a little bit maybe turn up the lighting okay so we're starting to get something that's feeling a little bit more interesting overall maybe some kind of growth that's happening or maybe he's made out of rocks or something like that you can see we're still pulling through a little bit of the uh the verona in other places across the mass so we that so we might need to go and adjust our height field ramp here just a little bit tighter yeah and now we're only getting it in those areas i'd like to be a little bit more deliberate in terms of my coloring of the pig here so let's try a little um let's try something a little different to the color here uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to put down a ramp and then i'm going to put down a lookup so i'll look up my ramp here I don't like the interface to it, I find it uh, difficult to use. But I found if I plug it into a lookup, uh, the lookup has an option to use a color ramp parameter. And here we get the uh, default Houdini ramp, which is quite nice to use. So I can set this up to be uh, something like magma, uh, just for now. And if I change the values on the original ramp here, uh, it will update through the, uh, the lookup further down. So I can get some interesting looking gradients. So instead of the color that I was using previously, uh, let's hook up my uh, let's hook up my ramp here. So let's close those up, and I'm going to set the ramp to use mask. And now I should end up getting some colors throughout my UV shells. Now I've got the same problem as before, uh, which is that uh, it is showing up too much in the other areas. Uh, let's go and pick uh, some less strong color schemes so i'm just going to choose sand for the moment here and you can see that's starting to come through and i should be able to play around with that uh, in a little while and i'll just be able to get a variation of color so i won't get this big block uh, of color like what i had before uh, so that takes care of my uh, rocky area for the rest of the pig i'd like to use the original textures now, the original textures are stored inside in this hda so they're bundled up with the hda uh, so uh, one easy way to try and get the texture out of here is just right click and go type properties extra files are stored under this tab here and you can see the actual file is this one it's low res jpeg uh, and there's an option to save file as now i've just saved it out already uh, so we can save it out as low res jpeg here just close that up 
now I can put down a file node over here and I'm pointed to it already because I've already brought it in but you would go and grab it and here we go so this is the actual pig textures that someone else has gone off and painted for me uh, so this brings in the uh, pig texture but it is the wrong size it is 512 by 512 so I need to scale that up now my textures that are coming in are 1k I think yeah they're 1k uh, so again I need to automate this later but let's just put it to resolution we'll change it to 1024 by 1024 for now and let's hook up our pig texture here and that's the pig coloring starting to come through now I can use the levels maybe to get the rock coloring to come through a little bit stronger so really I think the issue is here I'd like I'd like these areas to be more distinct and more controlled but this actual mass that I'm pulling through uh, is a little bit washed out now possibly I should deal with this uh, out in the height field you can see you can see the mask here is not distinct enough so possibly I should deal with it out here uh, but now that I'm in cops let's just let's take a go at dealing with it in here this really is just a visualizer for your masks that are coming through I, I need to get it out into the network and the way I'm doing that is I'm going to uh, just put down a color node here and I will change my defaults to blue uh, but I'll just change it over to white and so now it's it's in the network and I can go and do a levels on it uh, so I'll do a levels here and uh, let's pull down the gamma here so we're getting rid of all of the lower values yeah there we go and i can plug this into the ramp now and now the ramp here is using c so for color and the ramp is only happening within the uh the mask and i can come down here ah oh, this guy needs to be masked as well so let's plug this guy in here and say we want to use c yeah there you go uh, so I can use this ramp here for the number of uh, cycles and I should get handles over here as well uh, like a one and a two number and I can move those around and that can be kind of handy I'm not getting them at the moment though uh, that can be handy for uh, changing the look of the ramp uh, without using the cycles or adding more points and then I can come in here and I can pick whatever colors I like over here uh, probably don't need that levels anymore uh, so let's skip that guy let's come down here yeah so that's more distinct now i'm getting those colors just in the areas that i want uh, which is the areas that i painted and yeah so so now we have more control overall uh, in terms of the coloring just there and let's quickly review the other maps yeah so that seems to be pulling through the normal information you can see the shape of the noise there and this seems to be working as well uh, so that's the texture starting to come together let's just very quickly come back out here and we can just try adjusting the look of this once again I'm gonna go back to my lookup and I don't like seeing the UV shells here so much we can see the edge of the shell so we need to move these around just a little bit now again it's not updating for me and that's because I need to show my Comp that down here, and now I should be able to rotate this around and see it update in the viewport. Yeah, there we go. And so I just want to get a variation in color just running across those rocks just there. Uh, so I can go back and I can uh, tweak these colors and I can tweak my ramps and, and do all of that kind of stuff to get an array of colors in there. Uh, let's just go back to my texture mask paint here, close this guy up this guy up for a minute and maybe just try painting in a little bit more detail in one or two other places and again i'm just stamping this on so i'm not going to bother uh, putting down the quality of it uh, we can go back and play around with all of our settings uh, in this case i might just try playing around with the resolution uh, i suspect it's going to break some stuff in here and we'll have to go and fix it up so we might as well figure that out now uh, so let's go up to uh, 2048 yes and something in here has not been picked up correctly so and that doesn't surprise me so that's 2048 so that's fine yeah this guy here isn't updating and this one isn't updating either okay so we would need to update our colors as we go down along and probably our ramp as well i imagine 
Now we can reference in the overall size if we need to. Uh, the slightly quicker way to do it, I guess, would be to do this. Uh, so that will pick up the size from whatever is plugged into the first element, and then you just break it again. And probably the same for this guy. And now these are all 2048. Oh, it doesn't look like it's come through all the way. Uh, probably for this guy as well, we need to go up to 2048 by 2048. Uh, so now it'll be a little bit slower, but we get a little bit more detail into our mass overall. Uh, so our next step would be to bring it all over into Karma.